everyone, Susan Brown at the Center for Better Bones. Today we're lucky enough to have Heather, our, our master's student in nutrition from Cornell University, who, who's, who's going to talk a bit with us about vegetarian diets and vegan diets. You know, we're interested in bone health, and, and I asked Heather to look up and see, to kind of update the original blog we wrote in 2009, suggesting looking at what is the bone health among vegetarians and vegans. So Heather, when you looked at the data, on vegetarians, what did you find about their bone density and their fracture rates? So vegetarians might have a slightly lower bone density, correct? Okay. Mm -hmm. And their fracture rates are also, you know, a little bit increased compared to omnivores, but nothing too drastic, right? Yeah, I think I think I too saw in the research that it's, uh, most researchers think it's not really significant that mm -hmm. vegetarians can have very fine, strong bones and uh, not really fracture too much more. I, I think that's a consensus. We'll all keep an eye on that. Uh, <laughs> but what about vegans? So not quite the same case with vegans. They do have a lower bone density, but we like fracture outcome data. So we saw that one study showed they had three times the risk of hip fracture compared to non-vegans. Yeah, no, that's pretty <laughs> striking. So the vegans, and these were vegans in Western culture, right? Like modern society that, in, the, in the West. Yeah, exactly. That they definitely had lower bone density than either vegetarians or immediate omnivores. Mm -hmm. And they also fractured more, what did you say, three and three times? Three the times as much as an, an omnivore. So that's a lot of hip fracture. And I think part of it is because they're often low weight. And we it's with the impact of every step and also not getting all the nutrients. So gosh, so what would you what would you suggest both for vegetarians and vegans? What can they do to, from a nutrition point of view to help? Well, there's a lot of different nutrients you can start to focus on. We think like vitamin D, B12, iron, all things that you get from animal products that you're not getting anymore. Right, exactly, because that's right. They're, they're all, okay, vitamin, mm -hmm. vitamin B12, zinc, vitamin A. Okay, what else? Yeah, and then you can also think about omega-3 fats, protein, more of our... Um, macronutrients, you know? Yeah, you know, I did stuff, see stuff on omega-3 fats. It was kind of startling that, um, you know, omega-3 fats are produced by the, the, really the grasses, but the but the cows eat the grass and we get the omega-3 fats, the fish eat the grass, but we can't get the omega-3 fats eating the grass ourselves. So that's mm -hmm. very important. I didn't think of that, to supplement with omega-3 fats. Definitely. All the minerals, many of the minerals that are concentrated in meats. Mm -hmm. Anything else for vegans and vegetarians? You can also, you know, think about calcium a little bit. We say, what, 600, 800 milligrams a day? Oh, right, right. Calcium, mm -hmm. magnesium, all those key mm -hmm. nutrients. And we can tell if the pH, that first morning urine is 6.5 to 7.5, you know you probably have enough minerals. Mm -hmm. Get our little Alkaline for Life pH test kit. Uh, and I would take, uh, you know, I appreciate you looking into this, Heather, because I think it is, we are concerned with fracture. And we know there's great, strong vegetarian diets. It can be really fine. The vegan diet's tougher. So take care of yourself and watch to see you're getting the nutrients. Don't let your protein get too low. Don't let your nutrient get slow. Do a little bit of testing. See how you're coming along. And what would I finally say, Heather? Don't lose weight. Mm -hmm. Because low weight is definitely... Uh, bone density and bone strength is related to bone weight and to muscle strength. So let's build better bones, better body for everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Hey, and if you, if you want to follow our line of thought, we are offering these uh, educational retreats where we teach the whole Better Bones, Better Body program. It's September 23rd to the 26th. You might, you might go to betterbones.com and check it out. We are asking everyone to save the day, <laughs> September 23rd to 26th. You're going to be able to ask all your questions, and we're going to present every one of the six steps of the Better Bones, Better Body program. Team member Heather will be there, and all of our team members are going to be there to answer questions, be right online. It's a lot of fun, and you will learn a lot. Remember, no one cares about your health as much as you do, and no one has the power to alter the trajectory of your health. More, No one has more power than you. Be well. Thanks, Heather. Thank you. Talk later.